In this video, we're going to look at how to create a combined column and line chart in Excel 2007. I'm going to assume that you can already create a simple chart, so I'm not going to go that in detail except to show you the very, very basics. If you want to select some data, you can create a chart in one of two ways. You can either press the F11 key which creates a default chart type immediately on the data that you've got selected and it creates it on a new worksheet or you can use the manual method and that is using the tabs along the top of your screen we can use insert and here are our chart uh, section here that we can use to insert a chart for example if you want a column chart click on the icon and then choose the type of column chart you want to use just by um, clicking on one of the icons and if you hover over them it tells you the type of chart that you'll create a clustered column a 3d clustered column click the button and there's your chart and this time it creates it uh, as an object inside the current worksheet that you can move uh, elsewhere I'm not going to go through uh, all the rest of creating charts. You should know that. If you're not sure about it, go back and look at some of the uh, videos for the ECDL qualification. If you want to create a chart with more than one set of data in it, um, then we can also do that. And again, you can select the data by clicking and dragging to select all the data you want to work with. Here I've got the annual salary, and I want to plot that with the monthly salary. So I've selected both sets of data, and we're just going to insert a chart. And I'm going to insert a column chart and a 2D column. There's our simple chart that's been created. Remember, once you've got a chart created, you can add and delete data very simply. Using the um, Design tab, we can use Select Data to change the data that we've got selected. You can see there the two series that I originally highlighted, the monthly salary and the annual salary. If I don't want any of these, perhaps the annual salary, I can simply click it and remove and then OK. And that data has been removed from the worksheet, from the chart. To put the data back in, I just repeat the process. On the design tab, we select data and this time instead of removing, we're going to add. So I click the add button and I then get a, a dialog box that allows me to edit the data series. I need to say where the name is. Then the move that out of the way. The cell with the name in is the annual salary cell, so I'll click on D5. And it puts that information into the cell there. You could type that, expand it up. And then where are the values? Again, I'll use the same process. Collapse, select the values, could type that in, and then expand. Click on OK, and there the series has been entered into uh, the data source. Click on OK, and there is the data. Just bring that back in, make it a little bit bigger. So there's our chart, that's our starting point. Um, we need to make some modifications to this. Um, the first is to realize that um, we've got one uh, axis coming up the left hand side, the vertical axis for the values 5,000 up to 25,000. Um, but because if you have a look at the data, move that out of the way again, have a look at the data, the monthly salaries are way smaller than the annual salaries. So when you graph that, oops, move that back in, when you graph that, the bars for the monthly salary are a lot smaller and the detail in them is hidden. So what we can do is put those onto their own axis to expand those bars. The way we do this is by making sure that we have that series selected. And you can do that simply by clicking on the series or we can use the layout tab because on there we can then come to the current selection section and we can use this drop down at the top left hand side to choose the series that we want to work with. Now I want to use the blue series, the monthly salary 
So that's the one I'm going to select. And all it does is selects those columns. Once we've got them selected, I want to format them. And again, we use the current selection section that is on the layout tab. So I've got current selection format. And there we have the format data series dialog box. And the first section we want is the series options. From there, I can switch on or off the secondary axis. So I'm going to switch on the, sec the secondary axis and then click on close. And you can see what's happened there is we've got a new axis down the right hand side that's scaled appropriately for the monthly salary. So it only goes up to 2000, whereas the scale for the annual salary goes up to 25,000. But you can see what's happened. The uh, annual salaries have been hidden be behind the monthly salaries because those columns are now bigger. So one of the other things we can do is change the style of chart just for a particular series. So again, I'm working on the monthly salary series. And again, I can just simply click on them to select them or use the current selection tab to select it. Then using the design tab, we can change the chart type in the type category section. So change chart type. And because we've just got that series selected, we're changing it just for that series. I'm going to change this one to a line chart. Again, you can use the subcategories to choose the type of line that you want. Click on OK. Now, you can see what's happened there. We've got the original columns from the annual salary, which are plotted against the left-hand axis up to 25,000. We've got the monthly salary plotted as a line chart and plotted against the right hand axis up to 2000. That allows us to very easily see the detail in both sets of data. So we looked at two things there. You select the series that you want to work with either by clicking on it or using the layout or indeed the format tab to do the selection. We then formatted the selection to switch on or off the secondary axis and that's in the series options section. Once we've switched on that secondary axis we then again working with the selected series we could choose the design tab and change the chart type to any other type of chart that we want to work with. In this instance a line. We then click on OK and we've converted our two column chart into a column and a line chart with a separate axis for each data series. And finally we always know there's more than one way to do things. If you right click on any of the chart series then you can format things from there. You can change the chart type for that particular series, you can change the data and if we go down to format data series that's where you can switch on your primary and secondary axes.